said bleak festival, and I was like, why would you want to take a festival that's bleak? It's Melinda. It's Melinda. We're in air 11. Holy cow. Holy cow. We have pictures for you. If you can power us up, we have photos for you. Are those our pictures? Okay. Chad, can you get it in center screen? Hi, it's Melinda. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody give me information? What's the plan? We are up. We understand police have banned helicopters from getting too close. Uh, we will have to stay back and cannot get correctly over the scene. Uh, we will do our best. Holy shit. That is unbelievable. Anybody know what kind of plane it was? Two planes? A major airline. It's Melinda. Can anybody give me any information, please? It's Melinda. Can anybody talk to me, please? Check. Can you zoom in? It looks like there's some flame at the bottom of the thing. Yes. I have nobody talking to me. Hi, it's Melinda. Who's there, please? It's me. How are you? I'm just trying to get some information about what the plan is. We have photographs for you guys. These visuals are um, unbelievable. Are they doing a cut in? What, what's the plan? Can you help me out? We are as close as we can to it. Uh, they will not allow us directly over it. They have banned us from the area. Police are asking that we stay back so they can do what they need to do. Uh, the initial um, guess out of the different air towers is that it was a 727 or a 737. It may even have possibly been two planes. We're not sure. The second plane hit while they were live on television. Go around to the other side. I understand. We are on, we can't hear you. This is Air Eleven. I do. Am I going to talk? What's the deal? We 
have no TV air. I cannot see pictures on TV. I do not know what we have. I wonder. Yes, I, I do hear you. Uh, the problem, I do hear you, Anthony, I hear you. We do not have TV air, so I can't see anything. Are we gonna take a, are we gonna do a break-in? Do you want me to talk, or are they just taking visuals? Yes, I understand. How long do you want me to talk? I don't have much information. I will. What floor is that, Chet? The upper quarter of the building, right? Good morning, you're looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center Tower 1 from Manhattan Lower District. As you can see, we have uh, a, a very serious fire in the World Trade Center. What we understand, the information is still early and coming, but what we understand is that two separate planes have hit Tower 1, uh, which is uh, the tower that you're seeing uh, on your picture right now. As you can see, there are flames. There is a massive fire here at this uh, Tower 1 of the World Trade Center. It's in the upper portion of the building, probably the upper quarter of the tower. Now, of course, the problem with fighting something like this is that it is, uh, you can't do an external attack. Firefighters are going to have to go on the inside of this building to actually uh, uh, fight this t particular fire. Uh, they're going to have to be using things like high-rise packs and standpipe packs. They're going to be setting up a command center here, and they'll be using a cascade system to refill their air bottles. Now, the air bottles only carry 30 to 45 minutes of air, so you can imagine what it's going to be like to try to attack this fire, because they're going to have to climb up this many stories to get to the actual fire, and then probably immediately have to turn around and get their air packs uh, re repacked. Uh, now, what we understand is, again, two separate planes have hit this. Uh, we don't understand why at this point, but we do know that two planes, we're not sure what size planes they were, but we think they were substantial in size, have hit the World Trade Center. This, again, is Tower 1. Uh, we do not know exactly what happened as far as to why they have hit this, but you can see that there is a big plume of smoke which is towering into the air. I would say it goes back a couple of miles at this point, even further. You can certainly see it from almost anywhere in this area. Uh, both towers have smoke coming out of them, so it is possible at this point that Tower 2 is also on fire. It's hard for us to tell at this vantage point. As you can well imagine, police are keeping us at distance from this so that they can do the work they need to do. What we recommend to you people who are watching this from Lower Manhattan is to please turn off your water. Do not use any water that you do not need. Do not use your dishwasher. Do not use your washing machine. Firefighters need all the water pressure they can gather at this point. It's also a very good idea to stay out of lower Manhattan. Firefighters and other emergency equipment are trying to make it their way there right now. And uh, as you can imagine, this has probably already been made an all-hands emergency. That basically means that everybody, even if people are off of work right now, they have been called in to battle this blaze. Again, for those of you who are just joining us, you are looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center. That is Tower 1 on your screen right now. Two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center. We are not certain why that has happened, but it has happened. You can see the flames uh, through the smoke there, and there is a very dark, nauseous fume coming out of that. Uh, we can almost smell it from where we are, which is several miles away at this point. You can also see uh, the plume of smoke from many, many miles away. Now, again, as we said, it's going to be very hard and very difficult to battle this place because it is in the upper portion of this tower. Tower 2 also has smoke coming out of it, and we, again, are not sure exactly what that is about. Uh, we'll, again, try to keep you up to date with this as we get more information, but what we do know is that two separate planes have hit the World Trade Centers. Uh, we do have firefighters on the scene. They are going to have to do an internal battle of this place. They cannot do anything from the external because it's so high. Makes it very difficult to vent a fire like this as well. Also makes it difficult to battle it because they're going to have to use high-rise packs, and they're also going to have to use 
bottles, uh, air bottles. And the air bottles only carry to 30 to 45 minutes supply. Then they have to go back to the cascade system to refill. So they're going to have to be bringing bottles up as they fight and as they battle this uh, throughout the morning. So uh, it will take some time to get this cleared. There will be obviously a lot of traffic in and around downtown Manhattan. It's a very good idea to stay out of the downtown area. Please do not use your water unless you have to. Firefighters need all the water that they can garner at this point. And again, as you can see, this is still an ongoing battle. I mean, we have major flame inside this building. You can imagine the heat of this. And of course, the World Trade Center is no stranger to uh, fire and to other problems. There was the World Trade Center bombing several years ago. Uh, firefighters do know the, the layout of this building, but it has been several years since this happened. So it, uh, again, there will be some new firefighters on the scene of this. Uh, as you also remember, there was a B-52, which hit the Empire, I'm sorry, B-25, correct that, B-25, which hit the Empire State Building uh, many years ago after the war. And so uh, this is the second building in Manhattan to have been hit by a plane. Again, we're not sure if both planes or one plane was hit. It looks like uh, perhaps both fire towers are on fire. We're not sure exactly what happened here. But again, uh, there are two separate planes have hit the World Trade Centers. There is a major fire battling right now. Firefighters are in there for a major fight. The stairwells, of course, are how people are going to be evacuated. People will be evacuated out of these buildings. Do not, if you are watching this from the World Trade Center, do not get on an elevator. It is not a good idea to use an elevator in the middle of a fire. Obviously, uh, the, the water and other fire can short out the equipment, so you will have to walk down. The World Trade Centers, of course, are among the tallest buildings in the world making this an even more complicated fire to battle. Fortunately, the good thing that we can say is that the firefighters in Manhattan are very, very talented when it comes to fighting high-rise fires. This is what they do best. They've been trained for it and trained for it and trained for it, and today is the day they're going to have to use that training. Uh, again, for you who are just joining us, we are showing you live pictures of the World Trade Centers. As you can see, they are on fire, both towers. The tower on the left is Tower 1. The tower on your right is Tower 2. We understand that two separate planes have hit the World Trade Centers. We are not sure if, they, uh, if there was some kind of technical malfunction, if this was some type of other attack. We're not exactly sure what happened yet. We do know two separate planes. We feel that they are fairly substantial in size from initial reports. We do not know exactly what they were. But again, both towers are on fire. Tower 1 obviously suffering the biggest fire from what we can see at our vantage point. We are not able to move to a different point simply because the police have asked us to stay back so they can do the work that they need to do in this general area. They are setting up a general command center, or at least you would be expected for them to be able to do that, uh, to be able to set up a general uh, command center. Now then, um, high-rise packs are being used here. We have a cascade system, uh, which is used to refill the air bottles. Air bottles carry to 30 to 45 minutes worth of air, as we just mentioned. And uh, that's how they're going to have to use this, because these fumes are very noxious. If you're uh, somebody, again, watching from the World Trade Center, it's a good idea, if you're in the middle of this fire, to be sure and feel your door before you actually open it. If, there, if it is hot, it is better to leave the door closed than it is to open it and let the flame in. Also, it's better to hit the floor and not stand up. Smoke rises, and the smoke, of course, will go to the ceiling uh, if you are watching this from the World Trade Center. Uh, again, use the stairwell. Do not use the elevators. That is the worst thing that you can do. For those of you who are not in the World Trade Center and watching this down in lower Manhattan, please turn off your water. Do not use any water you do not need. They will need all the water pressure they can possibly garner at this point. Uh, this is a tough place to battle. Uh, obviously, if a jetliner hits or any type of plane hits an Empire State, a uh, World Trade Center like this, there's going to be a lot of fuel on board, possibly. That fuel is very difficult to uh, put out. And of course, all the other stuff inside the building itself, which is going to give quite a bit of fuel to this fire. Firefighters uh, will probably issue an all-hands call. That means everybody who is available, including those who are off for the day, will be called in to battle this place. Uh, that is the highest of all alarms, higher than a general alarm. And that means firefighters from all over the area will be called to battle the blaze. Again, it will be an internal attack. They cannot do anything externally because of the height of this. It's the top portion of the World Trade Center, the very top portion of the World Trade Center. We have a maybe, oh, I would say it's probably the top fifth of the World Trade Center, Tower 1, and maybe the, the top half of World Trade Center 2. Again, we're not sure if both or one of the towers was hit by a plane, but we do know two separate planes hit the towers and that that has resulted in this battle of uh, the blaze that we are watching right now. We do see flames in Tower 1. You can see it at the base of the smoke on the left, and we do know that there's some very serious fire which they're having to battle here today. Again, if you're just joining us, you're looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan. 
And uh, what we understand is that uh, we're, two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center, causing, as you can tell, a massive explosion and fire. There are flames, as you can see, through the windows, through that smoke. You can see that there must be a major, major fire, which people are having to battle right now. Um, hopefully, people are going to be able to get out safe. Those stairwells, of course, are built especially for disasters like this. We do have disaster teams in Manhattan. Out of all cities for this to happen to, Manhattan, of course, is one of the best equipped. Uh, we have some of the best firefighters in the world, if not the best in the world, who are going to be able to battle the blaze. It will be an internal attack. There will no there's nothing you can really do external. And, uh, and again, we do have smoke coming out on all sides of the World Trade Centers at this point, and the World Trade Center Tower 2 is also on fire. Uh, they are going to be using uh, the command center. Uh, we'll be issuing different commands and trying to coordinate this. This is a massive thing that they actually have to, to coordinate. Now, there's also an awful lot of debris which uh, is falling from this building. So they are obviously keeping people out of this general area, but debris will be following. So even people who are getting out of this building kind of have to be very careful as they come out not to be hit by some of the falling debris. That can be just as dangerous as being inside in many ways. Um, but you can see the heat and the intensity of the flame in there. This is going to be a very difficult fire to, for firefighters to battle. They are going to have to do it wearing high-rise packs, and they're going to have to be using air bottles in order to be able to fight the fire. Those air bottles only handle 30 to 45 minutes worth of air, so the cascade system will be in place to help keep those bottles filled. Um, also, it's just a very important to know they cannot vent this from the outside because obviously it's such a tall tower. Uh, it is one of the tallest buildings in the world. Both of these buildings are, and of course, what we have here is the very top portion of Tower 1 is on fire. You can see the side of Tower 1 is also, it's now the fire is starting to vent out to the side here. There is falling buildings. There's a lot of glass in this building. There's a lot of other fuel. As you can imagine, if a plane hits a building like this, there is a lot of fuel in both possibly the plane as well as the building. There's a lot for it to eat up, a lot of stuff which is very noxious that's going to make it very difficult for people. If you're in the building, it's a good idea to wet a rag, cover your mouth with it, hit the floor, feel the door before you actually open the door. Uh, that makes it very difficult because uh, you don't want to open the door if it's hot. That's the worst thing you can do. Uh, air traffic control has asked us to move back from the buildings. We are now on the other side of the Hudson River, I would say, um, actually over the New Jersey Turnpike. We're bringing you live pictures of the World Trade Center. As you can see, both towers, Tower 1 and Tower 2, on fire. Tower 1 on your left, the upper portion of Tower 1. Tower 2 is also on fire from probably the middle portion of the building. That fire does not seem to be as serious, although it's hard to tell from our vantage point. And this is the best vantage point that air traffic control will let us have at this point, as you can well imagine. If you are tuning in and watching from Lower Manhattan, it's a very good idea. Again, do not turn on your water. Please do not use your washing machine. Do not use your dishwasher. Firefighters need all the water pressure they can get at this point. Very, very important for us that you actually uh, heed these firefighters. They really need your help in this one. This is how you can help out. Again, do not go wandering downtown. They need all the ability that they can do to get to these different areas. They need to be able to set up their command centers, get the different firefighting equipment down there. It's just a good idea. Please do not sightsee. This is not the time to do it. Uh, you can look at the pictures here on television. That's really going to be your best view anyway. However, if you are somewhere in New Jersey or Brooklyn or even in Queens, you probably can see the plume. I mean, you can probably see this from the George Washington Bridge. There is a huge plume of smoke into the sky. We are hovering at about 1,500 feet. That plume goes at least another 500, if not another 1,000 feet above us. Uh, as you well know, the World Trade Center is one of the tallest buildings in the world. Another plane has hit in New York City before. It hit the Empire State Building shortly after the war. It was a B-25 at that point. And uh, so this is not the first time that a plane has hit a high rise in Manhattan. We do not know the circumstances as to why these two planes have hit the World Trade Center. We are trying to garner some information for you. But as of now, we do know two separate planes have hit the World Trade Center. And uh, you can well imagine that there's going to be a lot of questions which will be a asked and people are trying to get the information for as we speak. Meanwhile, again, firefighters will have to fight these fires from the inside. I thought we were on the air. Thank God. Why can't we see air? Why can't we see air? Yeah, keep talking. So keep talking.
take your time chat, we're still on cable. You're still taking your pictures. I don't know, I can't see anything. They're still taking your pictures though. That's why we're not doing cut-ins, because we can't get a receive, a signal. Oh my god, those poor people. No, it's Melinda. Okay, I did not know that all the airports are closed in the New York area. All airports in the New York area are closed. Yes. Anthony, I can. Anthony, I need a second to get some information. I have nothing. Can you give me five seconds? Um, what else can you tell me? How many people work in the World Trade Center? When was the World Trade Center bombing? When did the B-25 B hit the uh, Empire State? Do we know how many people hit live in the world uh, work in the World Trade Center? Nineteen forty five, B twenty five crashed into the seventy ninth floor of the Empire State Building. World Trade Center was bombed in nineteen ninety three. Uh, you said there's been more than a thousand other buildings hit by airplanes? Uh, what was that, Anthony? No. Oh, I got it. No, I can't hear it. Anthony, can you change it? Because it's... Can you hit seven for me? I can only hear... Just a sec. Hang on. I don't like being up in this. Do we know what, who this attack is by? I heard it. I just heard that. Yeah. All right, listen, the military is going to enforce a no-fly zone over here. They're sitting in armed planes to keep planes away from this. I don't know how long we're going to be able to stay up. We'll just have to see.
We must have just landed. We must have just turned our way when it hit. Do we know what time this happened, Daniela? I'm listening to Channel 7, by the way, and getting some information from them uh, because they've got Peter Jennings on. Listen, uh, do we know?